Hey, new phone day today. Brand new Samsung Note 20 Ultra, 512 gigabytes, Snapdragon CPU, unlocked Hong Kong version, all the good stuff, but I'm not going to be doing a review on this thing. There are other channels which are much better at that than me, so I'll leave that to the experts. What I'm going to show you is how to de-bloat your phone. I've been using Samsung phones for many years, since the uh, Samsung Galaxy S1. I've had the S1, the S3, the S5, the S7, the Note 9, and now the S20. Bit of a pattern there, I've been using every second phone, that's just my upgrade cycle. And uh, they're a great phone, I love their hardware, good features, good quality, but they, Samsung do love putting in the bloat, and um, I don't like that, so I want to get rid of it. Uh, usually you'll find that if you try and uninstall some of these apps, they're locked out, the ISP, the vendor, or Samsung themselves block you from uninstalling certain apps. And um, yeah, I don't like that. I want When I want to remove apps, I want to remove them. I don't want things like Facebook or Instagram or Microsoft stuff in my phone. Uh, I don't want them tracking me. I don't want them data mining. I don't want it using the, uh, battery up, the battery power. I don't want it using CPU cycles running in the background. So I want to get rid of that stuff. Makes a phone noticeably snappier and last longer, the battery life. So if you can't uninstall it from in the phone, how do we do it? Well, you can root your phone, but that's a whole big process. And often it's not worth doing. Um, it can void your warranty and it's just a pain in the bum but there is another way that's very easy and it, you don't need to root the phone it's re fully reversible and that's using a thing called ADB shell it's a little uh, bit of software you download from Google links down below and uh, you run that on your computer in the uh, command line you plug your phone in in developer mode through uh, uh, USB debugging mode through the developer mode menu uh, you plug that into your computer through USB and then you can run some commands and rip all that software out, all those apps out. So let's go over the computer um, and uh, I'll put screenshots up so you can follow along and um, we'll turn this thing into, turn the developer mode on and uh, get that USB debugging running and uh, we'll get to uh, removing the bloat. Okay, so you want to go to your settings menu, scroll right to the bottom and go to about phone. Find the uh, software information and then you want to tap on build number until it asks for your pin or if you don't have a pin set it'll just uh, work and it will say developer mode has been enabled go back to the uh, settings menu and then developer options is down the bottom there so you enter that and if we scroll down USB debugging you want to turn that on and it will say development purpose only that's fine okay and we're ready the phone is ready to accept the connection to the computer Okay, on the computer now, uh, you first need to download the uh, ADB uh, binaries and uh, whatnot. So if you head to the links in the um, description below, you can get um, the ADB and the fastboot binaries and whatnot. There's three links there, Windows, Mac and Linux. This is going to be a Windows-centric uh, guide, but the commands will be pretty much the same for Mac and Linux. Um, you just have to uh, adjust for uh, your particular operating system um, where you needed, and um, it should all pretty much work anyway. So once you've got the, uh, the stuff downloaded unzipped, you want to navigate to the uh, folder where you've unzipped it and um, hook up your phone with a USB. Once you've done that, you can type in ADB devices and you will see on the screen that says allow uh, USB debugging. So I'll hit always allow from this computer and allow that. And um, it should, if I type it in again, ADB devices, it now says it's attached. If that doesn't pop up on your phone, you can just uh, unplug the USB, plug it back in and give it another go. And um, you get that, that, that uh, notification to allow the, uh, the connection. So now what we can do is uh, head to ADB shell. So type in ADB shell. And now we're in the prompt. So now we can start really doing, um, doing some damage. So this is where you've got to start being uh, a little bit careful. So how do you know what type? Well, there's a few uh, different commands. Um, if you look in, again in the description below, uh, I'll have a, a few commands written there that you can, uh, you can use. So there's a, you can disable an a, a package or disable an application. Uh, that will allow you to re-enable it again. So if you're not sure about... Um, if you need something or if it's going to cause a problem. Disable it first. If it causes a problem, you can always re-enable it. It won't free up space because it will still be there, uh, but it will be disabled and will be inactive. And then if um, 
if you decide that you want to get rid of the application, say you want to get rid of Facebook, uh, you can use the uninstall uh, command and that will remove it completely. If you uninstall something that you shouldn't and uh, like your phone stops working, you can uh, just do a factory reset. That's why we need to back up. So make sure you have backed up. Uh, like I said before, back up, back up, back up. And then you can just uh, do a factory reset on your phone and um, you can start from scratch again. So uh, like I said, first of all, just disable apps that you think you don't need unless you're sure, like the Facebook um, or the Microsoft, that sort of stuff, you can just get rid of it. It's not going to affect the functionality of the phone. But if you start removing um, Samsung apps and Android apps that you're not sure about, uh, just disable it to start with. So to find the... Uh, application paths that you need to uninstall the applications. Uh, I use Application Inspector. Um, no real reason. I don't have any affiliation. It just it just works. It does the job. So I just use that one. Uh, if there's another uh, similar app that you find that works better for you, you can use that. Basically you need an app that just shows you uh, where all the, all the paths of the apps you have installed and then um, you can use that to uninstall the app itself. So I'm just going to find one. I've in, I've actually de-bloated this phone already, just as a test run. Um, here, we'll get rid of Quick Edit, that's just a text editor. So near the top there where it says Quick Edit, next to the icon on the left, we got com.rhmsoft.edit. That's the path we need to type in. So if we type in at the command prompt, pm uninstall dash k dash dash user zero this is all the uninstall for the current user with the permissions, etc. and stuff. Then we type in com.rhmsoft.edit. And if we hit enter there, it will say success. That's been uninstalled. It's still showing on the screen, but if I go and uh, I'll close the... Uh, oh, you can see there already. It's gone from the, uh, the screen there, the, uh, the, the app. And if I head down to, uh, it's not going to be there. It's gone. So I have to reinstall that. That's no worries. But that's what I wanted to do. So that's how that's how easy it is. Uh, and you can do that for any app. Um, you can even uninstall like system stuff that will really mess up your phone and require that reset. So if you do that uh, with all the apps you don't want, you can uh, free up the space and uh, get rid of things that are running in the background, extend your battery life, and uh, improve the uh, privacy, and uh, remove things that can possibly be, you know, give you backdoors into the phone and whatnot. Down below as well, you'll find the, um, the list I used for all the stuff I removed from the Note 9, and um, there's a, a, another list there for the, uh, this phone, the, uh, the Note 20 Ultra. Don't go blindly through that list and uh, uninstall everything just, just because it's in the list. Do some research and figure out what you use and what you don't use. I don't use things like uh, the uh, Samsung Cloud stuff, the Google Sync and Google Cloud. I don't use the uh, virtual reality stuff or any of the uh, all the uh, emojis and all that sort of gear. I don't use the car modes and you know, beacon services and stuff. So I just removed everything. I don't use Bixby, got rid of Bixby, all that sort of gear. So just make sure you do a little bit of research, see what you use and what you don't use, and make sure that you um, you disable the apps first to make sure that you've got the right one before you do a fully un uninstall. So that's pretty much how to do it. Uh, there's not much more to, the, to it than that. Um, re remember, back up. And uh, also remember that if you do un uninstall the wrong thing, you do delete the wrong thing, it's, fixing it is just a, a factory reset away, hence the backup. So back up. Don't forget also to back up. <laughs> you get in the picture? Back up. <laughs> So that's all we got for this uh, video. Hope you find that helpful. Uh, keep watching the videos and uh, we'll see you in the next one.